being told you that, is this going to be another two? I think it is, two kills on the I think I just set the Guinness this world record. What's up guys, MLG Professional Gaming here bringing you some tips to noob your way through trials like a pro. Let's get into this. First off, these tips are basically just spots in this map to give you guys the chance to get the moment of surprise on your enemy. No matter how sweaty they are, more than likely you'll be able to kill them because you got the first couple shots because they didn't know where you were at first. So. Yeah, hopefully this ends up helping you guys out. Anyways, okay, so for this first spot, as you can see on this spawn side, you can actually jump up here on this pole that is attached into the building. This is nice, right? Right? And while you're up here, you can also get the moment of surprise on a mother <laughs> That is, of course, if he doesn't know about this spot, and you know, doesn't spot you out. Or you can also go up to this other pole here attached to the building to get the moment of surprise again. You gotta remember to be quick when jumping to the poles because you don't want others noticing you jumping like a maniac because then you're just basically a sitting oyster. And also they might have caught on to your plan so keep that in mind too. Another thing, I know this may be common sense but I'm just throwing it out there just in case. Once you get a kill from any of these spots it's best to use them with caution because obviously now they know where you are at. And uh, yeah, they'll be expecting you. I don't really believe Bungie will patch these either. I believe they have these accessible on purpose too, in case some of you guys are like, dude, these are so unfair. Why are you showing these off? Uh, first off, one of the main reasons why I'm saying that, I'm normally straightforward. If I think something shouldn't be in the game, I'd say it. But uh, Bungie actually checked this out. And the reason why I know that is there used to be a way to actually glitch out of this map, which required these beams attached to this building to jump from. Now it is blocked with an invisible wall. As you can see, I can't get back there now. But I used to be able to. Here's some old footage. I actually made this a while back. If you want to go check out this video, it shows a lot of old glitches that aren't in the game anymore. But yeah, if you want to go check out this video, a uh, link to it will be in the description. Anyways, yeah, the point I'm trying to get at here is is I think it's pretty cool that they ended up keeping these in because they saw it as these aren't too unfair They're just great spots to use for our advantage, but I will say of course it's going to involve a little camping uh, No one likes campers. Okay, so this next spot is down low I'll be showing you a spot on each side of this map to help you out besides top mid Unfortunately, I know none to show you guys there down here as you can see you can jump on this side of the wall here That's coming apart and you can also jump over here to this uh, falling apart wall as well. This will give you better cover behind this tree. I will say this spot is definitely great It will help you with the moment of surprise on your enemies It's also a nice spot to rain down a super maybe from up here uh, I could see like a Titan smash coming down from up here freaking a or a Nova bomb I don't know all kinds of supers being used from up here will definitely uh, give you the upper hand Definitely a way to get a for sure kill because more than likely you're gonna be the guy taking the move on them because, you know, they're not going to notice you at first. You can also jump from out of this window from up here as well. Or vice versa. Say, like, you're not down here, but there is people that are. Jumping through this window can sometimes allow you to get the moment of surprise on peeps that are camping up in here. For these next spots, it'll be on the opposite spawn side of where we started at in this video. Over here, check this out, guys. This is pretty sweet. You can get behind this tree here, which makes for a great spot to sneak attack someone for a kill. I mean, obviously, you are definitely camouflaged here. And also, keep in mind, while using these spots, you and your teammates could, you know, set up. For instance, for here, um, first off, definitely not a good idea for multiple people to be back here at this spot. Uh, I would say one at a time back here behind this tree. Definitely just one, because if someone sees you and tosses the nade back here, oh gosh, it could be the end of both of you. Two teammates down, that's no fun. But yeah, all you gotta do to do this glitch is just stand on this railing here and it'll keep you from falling behind the tree. Of course, sometimes when you're first attempting this, you will fall, you know, behind the tree and it can be kind of a pain to get out. But once you get this down pat, it's really simple to land. And the tree, once again, makes for some great camouflage to give you a sneak attack. You can also go up here on this vent or whatever this is, this contraption up here. Multiple people can get up here too. Also another great spot to use in Asylum. And this is just something extra I'm just gonna throw in because it's literally right here. A lot of you might already know about this, but if you get on this container right here, it's great for head glitching sniper fights. You know, there's a lot of sniper fights that happen on this map, especially at this area. Alrighty, yeah, that's about wrapping up this video. I know there's only a bit of time left with trials on this map this week, but for future references, definitely try using these for your advantage. After all, Bungie clearly didn't remove that one spot 
on purpose, so this is definitely meant to be used. You know, just block out the haters and do what you gotta do to get that W. That's all I'm saying. Because if you don't get that W and get that flawless, then people start saying stuff because you haven't went flawless. And I find that kind of bullcrap, honestly. Like, so what, you yeah, haven't went flawless. There's a lot of people that go in trials that play 24-7, so there is a reason why you don't go flawless. You're not as into it as, say, they are. So yeah, definitely uh, unfair there, but I love the competitive side of trials, I'm not gonna lie. Trials is a lot of fun to me. Like, I just go in there to have fun now. It's not all about going flawless. I'm just having fun, honestly. I love the competitive side. Anyways, yeah, once again, my goal out of this video was to hopefully help out you guys that are having trouble going flawless in trials. I know there's gonna be people that are gonna talk crap in the comments, but seriously, these spots might actually help you out with a few kills that could give you the upper hand to make you win the match. So use them to your advantage. And once again, just block out the haters. But yeah, thanks for watching and listening, everyone. I'm out of here. If you enjoyed the video, um, maybe consider leaving a like. It lets me know if you guys honestly enjoyed this kind of content or not. And I'm not going to lie, it helps my channel grow too. So it's a big help. But anyways, yeah, thanks for checking out the video. Peace.